Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. My channel is about all things makeup related. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe. This video is about how I changed my lash game. So with my natural lashes, they have always been just kind of basic, um, somewhat thick, but just short and just nothing special. And I started using the Grande Lash Serum in November been using it every single night. This is my second one. I bought the small one because I just wanted to try it out. And my lashes have gotten longer, not so much thicker, but just a natural length and thickness and just more voluptuous. Um, so the serum does work. I purchased this myself from Amazon. This is not sponsored. None of these products were sent to me. Um, I know Grande Lash has a lot of like social media influence out there, but um, I was influenced to buy it and try it out and I'm happy I did because it totally changed my lash game. And so I started using this in November and applying these two mascaras um, and then I would go to work and people were like complimenting my lashes like crazy. Uh, my wife was even like, yeah, your lashes are so much longer and they look like wearing false lashes and I'm just like was blown away by these comments. I'm like, really? Like, holy cow, this serum really changed my lash game. And I'm so happy that I'm using this because my lashes are longer and thicker and I'm happy. So now I'm going to talk about the two mascaras I use with um, that lash serum to get this look. So I curl my lashes. I used to not curl my lashes because I was scared I would damage them. And I think it's because in high school, I would over curl them or I would just hold this down way too long and I would pretty much like break off my lashes. So here is a tip. Um, make sure that you don't hold this down for like more than three or five seconds and you're going to pump because that's how you're gonna get your lashes to curl without the trauma of just straight up bending that hair follicle in half and possibly breaking it. So this is a very affordable $2.99 eyelash curler from Wet n Wild. I got mine from Amazon and you can get this from like Amazon um, or like Target is another place that has it. But it's from Wet n Wild and it opens wide enough to put your whole lash in there. And you can even put false lashes in there because it opens wide enough to do that. And honestly, you do not need an expensive eyelash curler. You don't. You need one with a good rubber tip here and a good, you know, positioning device. So that way you're not like all the way like hitting your cheek and whatnot. But there's some really expensive lash curlers out there by high-end brands like MAC and Tarte. And they are cute. Like, their lash curlers are absolutely, like, they're super cute. But it's just, like, you know, why not get a more affordable option? Um, but, yeah. So, I love this eyelash curler, $2.99. And then the two fabulous drugstore mascaras that I am going to be using in this video are the Maybelline Rockets Volume Express. I used this in college and I loved it and I just forgot about it and then um, I'm just been, I've just been on the hunt for a good mascara and the ones I were using were like all right. Um, so I was like, I'm just gonna check this one out again. I'm pretty sure I remember loving it and it's literally like, I don't think I'm gonna use another one for a very long time because this one's just so good and it's so worth it. It's like $8.99 at Target. And then the Lash and Roll by e.l.f. I was influenced to buy this one. It's a um, dupe for one of Benefit's mascaras that one of my friends is obsessed with. So $6 is an amazing price point for this mascara. It's insane. So I'm also going to be buying these two, probably together, honestly. And sometimes in the morning, I can't even decide which one I want to use because they're both absolutely flawless. And so this right here is the Lash and Roll and this right here is the Rocket Mascara. And we're just going to jump right into my demo of me using both these mascaras. And yeah, so we're just going to jump right into it. So here I'm going to get it really close to my base. Do not crimp your skin and the eyelash curler and be very gentle because you can rip your eyelashes out. 
So I just get as close as possible and this should not hurt. I know some people think that this part should hurt. Pain always means something. It means you're pulling on something and it is not good. So as close as possible without pain. I felt something there so I pulled back a little bit. Felt something there so I pulled back a little bit. So right there. Wait, why do I keep feeling it? Okay, right there. One, two, three, four. Pump, pump, pump. So there's that. And then I am going to go towards the middle. Pump, pump, pump. There's that. And then I'm going to go towards the ends. And this is the most brittle part of your lashes. And I'm gonna pump once. And just like that, they are super curled versus this eye, if you can see that. All right, so I'm gonna do the other eye and I'm going to, it's very important that you try and curl them in the same spot. So as close to the base as pop up possible, pump five times in the middle of my lash. And at the very tip where it's the most brittle of your lashes, once. And just like that, they are curled just like the other side. So now, and I have eyelash glue in my eyes. I don't try and pick it out because it's just going to end up damaging my lashes. I put false lashes on um, when I'm going out and stuff. And I wear mascara like at work and every other, like all, you know, like for normal stuff. I do try and pick it off because bacteria can build up there and stuff. But... Other than that, I just try and cover with mascara because I don't want to damage my lashes by pulling on the glue. So I have here my Rocket Maybelline Mascara. In college, I used to use this and there's so many mascaras out there that I forgot all about it and I've recently started using it again. The brush looks like that and it says, the brush is very similar to CoverGirl's Lash Blast, but the formula by Maybelline is better in my opinion and I just prefer the Rocket Mascara over that mascara. Next I have the new e.l.f. the new e.l.f. roller lash or lash and roll which looks like this and as you know this is a dupe for one of um, Benefit's mascaras and so this one is this one is $6 and this one is $8.99 and they are phenomenal, affordable drugstore mascaras. So I'm going to apply one to each eye and kind of show you how I use these to achieve a really nice lash. As you know, I use the Grande Lash Serum. I've been using this since November and my lashes have gotten so much longer. Everyone's been noticing, especially my coworkers have noticed, um, they've definitely gotten longer and I love this lash serum. I cannot wait to use this like, to see what my lashes do in like six months from now because I know the more you use this, the better they're gonna look. And so first, when I apply my mascara, I look down and I apply it like that. And I have a mirror right here that is on my desk. So I'm gonna look down and brush my mascara. I always start at the base and wiggle side to side and make sure in the first sweep that I get the very edges because it's just easier to make sure I get the full lash if I wiggle, wiggle and just make sure I bring it all the way through to each hair. So I will show you. When you pull out your mascara wand, don't pump it because you're putting more air into the mascara tube, which causes your mascara to dry out. Always do one pump and apply, and then you can always go back in for more, but just don't pump it because every time you put this in and out of the tube, you are adding air inside and it can dry out your mascara faster. I don't have any clumps on my brush. Everything is good to go. So I'm just gonna apply this right close to my base and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 
and brushing it all the way through to each hair. And out here, sometimes I'll just take the tip and make sure I get the base of the lash. The longer ones out here are like a little bit easier to get and they're my longest lashes. And then I just slowly brush this through, but do you see how much volume I am getting and my lashes are staying curled. Most of drugstore mascaras and just any mascara that isn't waterproof doesn't allow my lashes to stay curled. But this lash, I mean this mascara, my lashes stay pretty curled like pretty well, honestly. And that's how I've noticed like most of my comments have come from people when I'm wearing this mascara because my curl stays throughout the day and usually when your curl falls it's going to be right when you apply your mascara because your lashes are just getting wet and you know they're going to lose the curl. So just like that just slowly bringing it through brushing each lash out and trying my best here to not clump them. Personally I don't mind a somewhat clumpy look. Um, just like that. Alright, so that is the Rocket Mascara, and how fast was that? Um, I love this mascara. It is an oldie and a goodie and is super affordable. So now I'm going to use my second favorite. This is the Lash, Elf Lash and Roll. This is the most affordable one. This is $6, which is just insane because this mascara is amazing. So same thing. I'm going to wiggle up my base, lash it all the way through, and so wiggle up my base all the way through. Wiggle. So now that I got the base really good, I'm just going to go and get the sides really good. I mean, get the tips really good. See, this one is definitely better for lengthening. The other one has so much more volume, but they're both really good. This one gets my base more... I get more mascara on my base with this one and then I can just brush through here and get the tips of those lashes because these lashes are really curled. And just like that, I am just kind of, you know, brushing, building, doing what I got to do here. See how like long individualized these lashes are over here? Of course they're lash, I mean, of course they're long because of the lash serum and the way that this just like combs the hair, like lashes and makes them longer and stand up and just makes them look fantastic. Two really good drugstore mascaras that everyone could add to their collection and really just step up their lash game. So, oh yeah, so I'm gonna apply them to the bottom lash line. Usually I would have to change products and I would apply a mascara to my bottom lash line. However, both these drugstore mascaras are fantastic for your top lashes and your bottom lashes. 
and that's a huge game changer because you can just buy one mascara and use it for both purposes. So I'm just gonna put my head very forward and brush on the mascara. And then on my, oh wait, no, no, no. So that's Rock and Mascara on my bottom lash line, which they are all like individualized and I had no issues. And now I'm gonna use the roller lash on my left eye. And there's that. And they look long, individualized, and perfect. So again, the two drugstore mascaras, the Lash Curler and the Lash Serum are what I use to get awesome natural lashes. And yeah, so Rocket Mascara, both my lashes have kept their curl, I feel like. I personally wear contacts, so I can't wear um, the waterproof mascaras, which are awesome at holding curls. So if you don't have contacts, I highly recommend maybe trying this one out in the waterproof version. They don't have the waterproof yet for this one, but waterproof mascaras definitely hold a curl, but because I have contacts, um, I can't do that. My favorite lashes to use are the Ardell Wispies. I think they look so great with my natural lash and they're just really good affordable lashes. All right guys, that completes my demo of my two favorite drugstore mascaras. And again, using this lash serum is really how I was able to change my lash game. So that completes this little demo. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video.